Understanding bone roll is often talked about when rigging. Most people get what it means, but understanding why we roll the bones and which direction to roll them in is a little bit more tricky. So let's take a look at bone roll. I have a barbarian character that I want to rig. So I've created my rig and I'm noticing that when I snap it into position, I've got some interesting bone roll issues on the fingers and the fingers is a common place for these issues to occur. So I'm in edit mode for my rig and the fingers in question are over here. I'll zoom in on those with period key so you can see what's going on. You can see they're not quite aligned. Now what does this really mean? Well what can help us if I go across to my data properties and go down to viewport display if I scroll down a bit and turn on axis you can see how the axes are lined up. Now these bones along here, you can see the X axis is going across and it's kind of going across as you'd hope the bend would work for the finger. Whereas these ones, it's slightly out. If I press N on my keyboard and go to item, you can see I've got a roll option here and I can change that roll. But how do we know exactly where to put it? I'll undo any changes and I'll parent my character to the rig just so you can see what happens. So out of edit mode, select the character first, armature last and control P to parent with automatic weight. Now when I select my armature and go into pose mode, so that's control tab, will take you to pose mode up here. If I press R then X twice to rotate by the local X axis, it's a nice way to bend your fingers. But you can see my fingers are bending inwards, that's the problem. Whereas these other ones, if I select this one here and press R then X twice, that's acting as expected. And I can actually select three in a row change my transform pivot point to individual origins and press R then X twice. And you can see I can actually curl the fingers. So that's a really useful thing to be able to do. But if I do it for this one over here, I'll just press Alt R to remove any rotation on that one. I'll select these three and press R then X twice for these and curl it in. You can see that it's kind of curling inwards. A little bit tricky to see, but you can see it from there. So the bone roll is causing that problem. So I'll undo all those changes. So back into edit mode, what I'm trying to do is align the bone roll. So select the bone, go to my bone roll up here, and I want to align it so that the X axis in this case, it doesn't actually matter which axis as such, but it does make sense that they're all the same across every single finger. So we'll keep it to the X. And the X axis in this case is aligning nicely so I can use the X axis as my kind of finger curl axis. So now that they're kind of lined up, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but they look fairly aligned like the other ones. Interpose mode with my rig. And now when I select these three, remember I'm on individual origins, I can rotate X twice for the local X axis and then curl that finger in and it's working a little bit better, but actually not that great. I probably needed it to curl in a little bit more. So I can again, go back to edit mode, roll that in a little bit more, this one as well and probably this one as well, and then back to pose mode. And you can see that's rolling in a little bit further and it looks like I need to adjust it even further still. So back to where we were, a little bit further and then back to pose mode. And that's a bit better. We're getting a better finger roll that sort of comes into the middle there. Okay, so hopefully that helps you understand what bone roll is and why it's important. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.